Hey guys, Dakara here and welcome back to my channel and today we're on season 4, episode 6 of The Good Place. We're getting closer and closer to the finale finale and I don't want it to end but at the same time I'd love to know how it ends, you know, it's not very conflicted. But while we're on the topic of shows that I love, I have just binged of their own. It's an Amazon Prime TV series inspired by a league of their own movie the 1990 movie it's about a group of girl baseball players you know uh, going about their lives but it touches some heavy topics as well and it's only got a season one i think there's it's a short season as well uh, but it's very bingeable content some amazing relationships in there some very shippable ships shall we say in there and i just enjoyed it but the main thing, which is why I watched it, was Darcy Carden is in it. So if you love Janet from The Good Place, go and check out Darcy's new show, League of Their Own, on Amazon. Please, 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 because I would love to see it get another season. And if it does get a season two, I'm probably going to react to it. I'm not going to lie, because I watched this not knowing anything at all about it. Literally nothing. A friend of mine just messaged me and said, really enjoyed the show, think you should check it out. So I did and binged it in one one sitting so if you check it out guys i want to know all about it so hit me up on the dms i'd love to discuss uh but yeah let's roll that intro and get stuck into season four episode six of the good place here we go we're in the void i'm here to let you know that after six months of captivity, today's your last day. Are you ready? One thing real quick before you start. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> do, da, do, do. Chapter 45, guys. Oh, she's still going. Wow. She's going to last. <laughs> it all started about a week ago. About a week ago on a ski trip. And they all skied off a cliff. It went better than we could have possibly hoped. Well, I admit it. Oh, Swan looks so cute. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't actually go skiing because moving at an angle. Oh, I love that jacket as well. Oh, you went to Rutgers, right? No, I went to Princeton. Yeah, I know. I'm messing with you. They're making progress. We still don't know if he's really changed or if he's just trying to get into super heaven. That's true. Oh. The moment you've all been waiting for. What's she wearing there? It doesn't look like an Eleanor type outfit. And the award for hottest savior of the week goes to Eleanor Shellstra. Mm -hmm. Thank you, I accept. Should we do some squats, pop that booty a little bit? I love that Jason and Jenna are on the wall. Trip, I mean, not the completely rigged hotness contest. <laughs> the completely rigged <laughs> show is brilliant. And then Brent did something very Brentian. Uh-oh. I, uh, I wrote a book. And since you're my nerdiest friends, you get to be the first to read it. Adventure, half erotic memoir, and half political thriller. It's also half golf tutorial. Wow, I love halves. Scarlet Pakistan. She was the type of girl you couldn't take in all at once. She had legs like Jessica Rabbit from that movie. From that movie. Ahani has an accent like the Queen of England, but without any of the old gross face parts. Oh, like when someone throws up on a bus and then someone smells it and they throw up? Sure, yeah. <laughs> sure, yeah. Brent wrote this book, and clearly he put some of us in it. Who wears glasses and sweater vests and never does anything spontaneous or cool. Almost everything I did on Earth I did without thinking or worrying about what would happen. <laughs> Jason. Oh no. Oh my gaga. <laughs> Can you just skip to the end? No, I need to tell you the whole story. Do you know what's happening right now on Earth? Vindictive nerds at Apple are changing the charger cable shape again. Oh, that does my head in that when they do that. Humans are b -b -b bad to the bone. Bad to the bone. So Jian Yu is really Jason from Florida? Who else knows about this? Is it just me? Is it an exclusive? Y y yes. <laughs> The neighborhood is obviously amazing, but it's also a little season four Downton Abbey. I wasn't a big fan of Downton towards the end. The valet. He solves the murder on page 10. What is the rest of this book about? <laughs> That'd be me if I wrote a book. 
Oh, I just forget. If you make a mistake, you always have a chance to redeem yourself. Rocking the outfit there, Michael. Nailed it! What in the fuckery? Linksmen like yourself should play with the assistance filter turned I off. see. <laughs> it isn't a sign of weakness to admit that you screwed up. Fine, whatever. Too many people are, are scared of showing that they've made a mistake. Thanks for not telling anyone about Jason. This Jason team needs to be spilled. I've never felt that. Like, that need. Simone! With the cut out. Just tell the truth. About something else. So just skirt around the topic is what her advice was. Scarlet Pekistan character is clearly based on Tahani, and it's not exactly flattering. I didn't ask to get yelled at by the PC police. Oh my god. Handle this the British way. Smile bravely, bury your feelings. <laughs> Ain't that the bleeding truth? It is a British thing. Your actions hurt people. You have to take responsibility for that. So now you're going to the bad place. Bye. Why are you trying to help him? He doesn't even know you exist. He doesn't see other people. I know a few people like that. Apologize for real or stop wasting our time. Okay, you know what? I'm actually not sorry at all. That's more real of you. I'm here because I earned it by being the best. It's ridiculous. Yeah, and you're a condescending bench. Oh, okay, this has got tense. <laughs> wow. Chidi just punched someone. I mean, that was it. We were forked. <laughs> We were forked. What's wrong with ombre highlights? Eleanor, please. <laughs> I'll take my hair elsewhere. Help someone without actually thinking about it. And maybe I'll ask Chidi to lead a class on empathy. Yes. That was an hour ago, right before I came here to see you. Interesting. How do we think this is going to have gone? We've been asking the wrong question. What matters isn't if people are good or bad, if they're trying to be better today than they were yesterday. Hey, hey. Great thinking. People that get books as gifts always read them. <laughs> Bye. I think it's very noble that you punch Brent in the face to defend the honor of the true love of your life. What is this? Okay. So she's figuring it out, guys. So we've got Simone on the case, just like Eleanor was in season one, when she, everything twigged for her. The similar thing is, is happening with Simone right now. I do think that our group are gonna think of a way to get around this as well. I mean, we're on episode six right now. It's not like a massive season or, or whatever. So they need to they need to start making strides. And I liked that in this episode, we started with Michael trying to confront Janet because, well, bad Janet, let's make that clear. So like bad Janet, you know, was just wanting to go, wanting to go, not really listening. But I do think that by the end of it, she seemed do have taken something on board there was a look in her eye that was telling me that she's taken something on board so when she left it was as if she was saying i cannot believe that he's allowing me to just walk out and through this door right now and she, it's like a, a bit of her was doubting and waiting for michael to like slam it shut and trick her but he didn't he stood and stuck to his word so maybe that will resonate with her a little bit when it comes to uh, Bren, he is just like the worst human, isn't it? He's the embodiment of an eye roll. If I was to think of something that would make me eye roll, it would be him as a as a person, you know? Just no matter what leaves his mouth, you're going to get an eye roll out of it. I'm not surprised that they struggled with him. I found dealing with him to be like the hardest one because on some scale you think that people like him are just so oblivious to anything that's outside of their bubble 
but then I thought, which I could, well, I, I must be wrong. It is him that seems to be the hardest one to crack. And I thought it'd be easy because they're usually easy to manipulate because they're so self-obsessed. So as long as it's going to benefit them in some way or feed their ego in some way or, you know, boost their already toxic thought system, you could maybe manoeuvre that into where you needed it to be. Obviously, I was wrong. They do be struggling with him more so than any of the others. I mean, Johnson was a gossip and stuff, but that's not as intense as all what Brent has going on and with Simone I love her I love how she thinks I love how her mind works I love how intelligent she is how pure she is how honest she is with herself and with everyone else as well I think we need more Simones in our lives but obviously in terms of the experiment it's not going too well and I thought what would end up happening is Eleanor would just be honest and say to Simone what the experiment was all about. But thinking of it right now, I don't know if the judge made that a rule that you couldn't just openly say. I can't remember. But if not, that's what I think should happen is Eleanor should say, look, you're a smart girl, so I'm just going to come clean now. Point out the four people that went through the initial experiment with Michael, say everything what went on and why this experiment is so important to literally the entire afterlife and the rest of the world. So I believe that that would be the best route to go down. But yeah, obviously there's more to talk about with this episode. There was stuff with uh, Eleanor trying to control the situation not doing so well and there was obviously a lot more to, to talk about when it comes to this episode like with Eleanor as well proving how much she has grown through this process in season four because things started to go wrong she's having a disaster and she just took the time to be like right brush myself off let's give this another go and when she could see all over her face that she just wanted to give up. Kahani was there ready to pull her up and say well what about this idea and as a group they worked together and they tried again and I think that again is an inspirational thing to hold on to because like Michael said with Janet, bad Janet, he said as long as you're trying every day to be better than the day before you're on to a winner. That should surely be the the key factor to, to like resonate home with everyone in there am i going to try today to be better than yesterday but it does having said that out loud it does hold the question what is the motivation to do that because that's where they're going to struggle especially with brent is the motivation and i know michael said that you have to sort through uh you know the movement first and then the motivation second we're at that motivation stage i believe um and i feel that with simone the motivation would be do you want the good place to not exist and for everyone to go to the bad place do you want that do you want everyone to go to hell hell or heaven you know so it's a tough one. It's a tough one, but the, the season's getting good. I always love seeing the group together. And this episode feel like it just went in the blink of an eye. Like it, it flew by. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Nonetheless, give it a cheeky thumbs up if you did. And subscribe to the channel if you would be so kind. As always, there is no pressure here. Uh, and I hope to see you all again soon for another one. Thanks so much, guys.